Jason Roberts, is it possible that he's been in jail for, you know, coming up for 20 years, uh, over the, wrongly in jail over the murder of the two police officers in Moorabbin, Rod Miller and Gary Silk? Ron Iddles, extremely well-respected uh, former police officer, former detective, suggests that uh, Roberts wasn't there. In the, but it was referred through various people to the Attorney-General, Martin Pakula, who decided not to take it any further. Mr Pakula, good morning. Good morning, Neil. Why? Well, because based on uh, the totality of the material before me, uh, I didn't think it warranted being referred to the Court of Appeal. Now, uh, you've got to remember in this context that Mr Roberts uh, was convicted by a jury at trial. He appealed to the Court of Appeal and lost. He then appealed to the High Court uh, and uh, he was not granted further leave to appeal. So this matter and his defence was considered by six appeal court justices uh, and some many, many years later, uh, he then um, lodges a petition seeking a fourth go. Uh, and I took the view that you would only disturb the finality of the decision of the court uh, in the most exceptional circumstances, and I don't believe they exist. So you are satisfied that Jason Roberts is guilty? Well, I'm satisfied that Jason Roberts has been the beneficiary of due process uh, at the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeal and the High Court, and that's the decision that they've made. Well, yeah, but if you had any belief uh, within your own mind that he could be innocent, surely you would have done something. You must believe he's guilty. Well, well I would have, you know, you would only... Uh, and, and attorneys get petitions of mercy constantly, all the time. Uh, and there is a good reason, including uh, the need for victims of crime and their families to have finality, that people don't normally get a second or third bite of the cherry... Uh, after they've been to the Court of Appeal. Uh, and there would need to be, in my view, extremely compelling evidence to reopen a case which has already been before the courts three times. And I took the view that that extremely compelling evidence didn't exist. It is claimed that you had decided to send it to the Court of Appeal and change your mind after pressure. What do you say to that? Well, there was no pressure whatsoever. Well, did, did you decide to go to the Appeal no, Court? No, there is, a ver there is a very big difference, Neil, between giving you know, deep and conscientious consideration to a matter and making a decision. And there was a point during the process where I decided that I needed significant additional information and advice and I asked for it. Uh, and it took quite a while for that additional advice and information where did that come to come from? to me. From, from various sources. I'm not going to go into all of it, but, um, you know, it's been reported in the press that there was, um, you know, submissions from Victoria Police and additional advice from my department. And I considered all of that, um, the advice that, uh, that, that I had before me, both, uh, you know, including Mr Riddle's report, um, but I had to consider the totality of the material before me. And when I considered that, um, the decision I made was that it didn't warrant being referred to the Court of Appeal. But the suggestion that any pressure came from anybody uh, is just completely false. There wasn't any.